Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to introduce to you a new function in MRP calculation. In the MRP wizard overview, there are columns to show information about last calculations or if a calculation is running at the moment. In the past, it was only possible to run MRP scenarios when setting them to calculate automatic and creating a BAS service that starts a scenario at a defined time. Now it is possible to start a calculation that runs in the background directly within BAS. Therefore, a new option in the definition of the scenario was added. In the field Execute In, you can choose how to execute the calculation. If you select the setting background, a separate task for the calculation is opened when starting the calculation. While the calculation is running, it is possible to work with BAS and the MRP browser shows the status of the calculation. If you select Foreground, the calculation is done directly in the application. While the application is running, it is not possible to work with BAS. With the setting Ask Always, you can choose if the calculation should be carried out in the back or the foreground when starting the calculation. Remember that you can always schedule an MRP calculation as a planned activity with the help of the BAS Managed Server. When you open the Managed Server, make sure that at least one BAS service is running and Planned Activities is enabled. Go to the Planned Activity tab or click the cogwheel icon right of the Planned Activity field. We have a default MRP calculation you can use or you can create your own with a right click and selecting Add. Please note that the calculation used by the BAS Managed Server is the one you have set in the Configuration Wizard. If you create a new one, provide a short and long description, add the type, activate the task, and provide the times between which you would like to schedule the calculation. Add how frequently you wish the calculation to be run, add the script in the Execution tab, and click OK. Once the first scheduled calculation is over, the information is displayed in the Last Run tab of Planned Activities. We hope you found our introductory video useful. Thank you for your attention and please stay tuned for our upcoming videos.